Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. You guys, hope you guys are doing good this afternoon. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get this discussion popping. So, if you guys watched the Wendy Williams show yesterday, Wendy is back and she seems like she's back to her old self. She seems to be doing a lot better. She's taking things in stride. She talked about going out to eat with her sister and spending time with her sober friends. And basically, honey, trying to get back to living her best damn life, okay? As we all know, Wendy Williams basically surprised her soon to be ex husband, Calvin Hunter. She surprised him with a damn present in a box so he thought he got a push present from wendy honey and wendy was like no bitch here goes some damn divorce papers okay so after that they booted him off set and he has not been back on set since so yesterday she was talking and you know just basically spilling a little bit of tea but not really going into details but she let it be known that she's gonna be concentrating on herself and her one son, Kevin Hunter, and she's going to make sure that those two have the best life possible. Go ahead and check this out. I have a commitment to me and my son to come out of here better, stronger, and faster than ever. And All right, y'all just watch that clip. And then on top of that, she decided to throw some messy shade at, you know, that damn homewrecker, Sharina. She goes on to talk about how women who have crossed over and they're, you know, going through menopause... One thing they'll never have to worry about, again, is changing diapers. And then she basically says that her diaper changing days are all the way over. And then she sips tea and the audience goes crazy, okay? So basically, she's letting Sharina know, bitch, you just got yourself a whole nother headache, okay? That's your headache. That's between you and Kevin, Kelvin, whatever the hell he wants to be called, Hunter, okay? That's y'all's job to raise that child. And I have nothing to do with the fuck shit. Y'all not gonna keep eating off of me. So... Once, you know, everybody was applauding Wendy, saying, you know, Wendy's gotten her strength back. She's gotten back to, you know, her old self. She looks better. She looks healthier. A lot of people were praising her yesterday. And looky, looky here, okay? Of course, when she's getting praises, Mr. Kelvin Hunter, he decides that he needs some attention. And now he's speaking publicly. He released a statement to PeopleMagazine.com. And basically, he's apologizing for his actions. Oh, okay, Kevin. We see you, baby. So this is what Kevin had to say. Let me go ahead and grab my little tiny violin. Let me go ahead and, you know, crank up the damn sad music. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Kevin, a.k.a. Kelvin, he says this. I'm not proud of my recent actions. I take full accountability and I apologize to my wife, my family, and her amazing fans. I'm going through a time of self-reflection and I'm trying to right some wrongs. 28 years ago, I met an amazing woman. At the time, I didn't realize she would not only become my wife, but would also change the face of entertainment and the world. I have dedicated most of our lives to the business empire that, that is Wendy Williams Hunter, a person that I truly love and respect unconditionally. No matter what the outcome is or what the future holds, we are still the Hunter family. And I will continue to work with and fully support my wife in this business and through any and all obstacles she may face living her new life of sobriety. Living her new life of sobriety while I work on mine. I ask that you please give me and my family privacy as we heal. Thank you. Kevin, Kevin, I'm gonna need you to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. First and foremost, she's not your wife. She's about to be your soon-to-be ex-wife, okay? And if you really dedicated your life to her, if you really loved her unconditionally, you really, you know, keyword respected her unconditionally, like you wrote in that damn letter, you would not have been fucking Sharina Hudson for 10 years, okay? You would not have basically disrespected your wife by not only knocking her up once, but knocking her up twice, okay? So the first time you knocked her up, like I said, I don't know what happened to that baby. I don't know if, she, if they pressured her into getting an abortion. I don't know if she had a miscarriage. I don't know. But you would think that after that first baby was not born, he'd have been even more careful, strapped up, make sure she was on birth control, would have done, you know, his most to make sure that he did not end up in the same position he was just in a year ago. So that just lets me know that Kevin is sloppy. He does not care, okay, and he has no respect, and he did not value his marriage with Wendy Williams. Because, again, let's say Wendy was a younger woman, 
And let's say she got the cheating and she got pregnant by a whole nother man. There'd be no excuse for that. Nobody would be excusing that. Nobody would give a fuck about her apology. So I feel the same exact way. When you love, respect, and honor somebody, when you take vows with them, those are not the actions that you perpetuate, okay? Those are not the actions of somebody who really loves somebody and who really cares about them. So I don't want to hear none of that mush mouth shit, sir. You're just trying to get in where you can fit in. You're just trying to sit there and look for pity in the eyes of the public. And then the fact that he's mentioning that he helped build her business empire that lets me know that he's trying to plant seeds okay for what he's going to use in court like I helped build all this so I should definitely get half another thing I find funny about Kevin's apology is that basically it came out today after it was announced late last night that he may no longer be an executive producer on the show for much longer Hence why he's trying to throw in words like Hunter and, you know, we built this from the ground up and all that shit. He's trying to save his ass because he knows once he gets fully canceled off that show and he loses all rights to that show, he's going to lose a big chunk of his main income, which is the Wendy Williams show. So that's why he put that out there. So that way nobody thinks that it's just her who built her own empire. Because this entire time we've always called her Wendy Williams. So it's funny now that he's trying to call her Wendy Williams Hunter. We've never acknowledged the Hunter part, sir. And we're not about to start acknowledging it now that you guys are going through a damn divorce, okay? So stop it. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Wendy Williams feeling great about herself. Feeling a lot better, throwing some slight shade, honey, at Kelvin and Sharina Hudson, only for Kelvin to come back the very next day and release a statement to People Magazine talking about he wants to issue an apology and he's sorry for what he did and that he loved and respects Wendy. I'm sorry. Okay, Kelvin, tell that to somebody else because I'm not buying none of that bullshit, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Wendy Williams and Kelvin. Um, are you guys proud of Wendy that she's kind of back to her old self and she's doing her and she's moving forward? And then how do you guys feel about Kelvin and trying to come out and basically apologize for his actions but meanwhile throwing other shit in there about how he helped build her brand and how he you know her last name is hunter and not just williams and all that goofball stuff so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces